Rimrims and other viewers of RimWorld, welcome to the adventures of Ohm. We're not doing a fancy intro, we're not doing a recap, because I've had maybe the best idea I've ever had for RimWorld, and I need to tell you it, because I think if, if this works, this is the most excited I've ever been for an idea in RimWorld, I think this could be awesome. Now, our main character, the star of the show, is Ohm. Ohm, the immortal Arco being who is, in theory, going to progress us on from the primitive era through tribal, medieval, industrial, to spacer, and then eventually Arco. This one character is going to take us through eons and ages of, of progress and research. What if, to represent that, we assume that not only is Ohm our main character, but we're seeing things from Ohm's perspective? When you're immortal, time would move very differently for you. What if our other characters age faster? to represent that move through time. And the big reasoning I wanted to do this is, is we can throw in children's school and learning, the mod that allows your colonists to have pregnancies and to have new children be born. Imagine it now. We progress from the medieval era to the space attack. And during the medieval era, one of our colonists' great-great-great-grandfathers used some magic sword to fight off a raid. That character then has that magic sword hanging above the mantelpiece in their space uh, living room. I think that would be awesome. And I think that would be such an incredible way to represent moving through with these many, many ages of RimWorld. So, here's the plan. This is going to be quite difficult to balance, but but my, my idea is... I've already done it. <laughs> I, I like this idea so, so much that I've already gone ahead and done it. My idea is we'll make the people age 12 times faster... I did a little bit of discussion with this in Discord to decide kind of what the what the right kind of ratio and speed for them to to age would be. The reason I settled on 12 times faster, obviously every year we pass in game, they will age 12 years. That means, say we get a character joining at about the age of 30, that means in about 6 or 7 years, they're going to eventually hit old age and, and die. With children's school and learning though, they could have kids. And those kids by that stage will be old enough to replace them and and take over as another colony member. Now, a big part of that, of course, depends on how many people we've got on the colony, the distribution of people in the colony, the amount of people in relationships, that type of thing. We're going to be playing a kind of civilization, for lack of a better word. And I think this could be so, so cool if we pull it off. Now, you might have already realized this. It's also going to be very difficult to make sure that balance works. Now, we do have some immortal races in the pack. Ohm, for example. The Forsaken, I believe, are not necessarily immortal, but I believe they, I believe they live for a very, very, very long time. Uh, life expectancy is 2,000. So, getting these kind of event characters like the Forsaken and other characters like Ohm would be, would be very, very valuable for the colony. But... I love the idea of having these human colonists all the way in the space age who have a great, 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 great grandparent from all the way back in the medieval era. I think that'd be so cool. So that's what we're going to try and aim for. And we're going to see how it works. And we can rebalance it as we go along here. But I think, I think I really like this idea. And I think we could really get some lasting legacies and, and kind of dynasties going through our RimWorld playthrough. I was also kind of thinking on the subject of like building this RimWorld legacy, how cool it would be if, if we built a basic base and had it kind of naturally developed like a city but go back and upgrade the buildings that we originally used like these first buildings if we do get to that spacer era are a symbol of our well they'll be a symbol of our city at that point right these were the original buildings ohm did the research in so at that point we'd have these filled with you know monuments and arco wars and it'd be like a like a museum or something like that rather than doing what i normally do in rimwood where it's where we'll build a basic base then tear it down and build something more permanent later on I would love to slowly upgrade these buildings era through era and then have the walls actually be kind of impactful to that. Say certain buildings are knocked down, burnt down, whatever. Little monuments in place for us to remember in those many years time when we come back to it. Anyway, I won't go on anymore. But I think those are really cool ideas. Like genuinely so cool. And to kind of put that aging thing into perspective, we've played for 30 days so far. So if we assume that, that, that that's half a remod year, by the way. So months are 15 days there are four months in a year so years are 60 days long that means that if it's 12 times faster someone will have aged six years so arcadius obviously joined us quite late but would have aged six years by this point so he'd be what 20 something by this point so then as a recap for what happened yesterday we are currently in the primitive era having done a little bit of research into it enough research to set up a base here and getting a couple of recruits struppers and arcadius Arcadius from the 
deserted quest and troopers we found just kind of out there in the world somewhere. So I want to embrace every era as well. It's one thing to, I, I mean, when it was just owned by himself, it's obviously a lot harder to do. But now that we've got other people to help out, we should really start embracing every era as we unlock the technology and really exploring everything each era has to offer. So while Oma is doing a lot more research here, we'll get these two working on some of the primitive luxuries. I don't think that's quite the right word. I'm going to turn off select research automatically as well. Now that we've got other people here, you know, I'm going to worry about the schedule so much. Ohm can help out elsewhere because we're going to need to obviously farm a lot more crops, for example, to keep everybody everybody happy and healthy and do a lot more building, a lot more clay manipulating. I think a bedroom for everybody as the starting thing would be a great idea. And I kind of like these basic structures for the, for the primitive area. And we'll get a little, little more... We get a little more ostentatious with it as we progress on to uh, later eras. Medieval, we start thinking about building full-on kind of castle walls and, and parapets and towers and all sorts of crazy things. A raid from the Wild Hive. Was that pirates? Insects. Well, that does make a lot more sense in hindsight. <laughs> we need to maybe start working on some choke points where multiple melee characters can fight the same... The, the, the same target simultaneously. Let's also go and get you with a you think, wooden club or maybe some stabbing weapon for a change. We'll stick with the wooden club because it is slightly better quality. Where did your clothes go, Arcadius? I threw them on the floor because they're they're, they're an, an arcane technology. He doesn't know how to wear them, obviously. Uh, what have we got? Ultra Steel, Kitean Service Rifle. Oh, and an Alpha Poly Flak Jacket. Of course. Um... God, there's no wonder they were trying to hunt you down if you stole that. It's all well and good getting an Alpha Poly flat jacket. We can't do anything with it, of course, because we're... Well, we don't know. We don't exactly know what that is. So we're up against a Mega Spider. Uh, two Mega Spiders and a Mega Scarab. Let's see if we can surround this guy. Get down. Okay, come, come down. There we go. Here we go. Take it, take it, take it. Okay, nice. Now for the Mega Spider. Strooper's got hit pretty bad there. Oh, Strooper's is getting hit pretty bad. Did someone just lose a hand? No. Ooh, massive damage then, though. Four out of 12. Be very careful. Okay, well, that was to be expected. You had a toe cut off. Uh, have you got the weapon yet, Arcadius? Where did you put it? Arcadius, you good? There it is. Equip. Okay, get in there. I'm sure the Ohm will be fine. <laughs> I say with such confidence. No, no, no. Kill that one first. Minimize what we've got to fight. Okay, Stroopers, get up there and help fight the Mega Spider. Let's bring him on that side. Okay, go, 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 go. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Nice work. Get in there. Oh, this is horrible. Oh, this is going to be so close. I hate it. Come on, home. You can't let us lose already. This goes to show that I really should have been working on choke points before we started working on houses. I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting Royal Mega Spiders to raid us this early on. Wow. I bet that bloody Alpha Poly jacket inflated our wealth like crazy. Hang on. Uh, yeah, wow, that will really do it, eh? Holy crap. Oh, what a hit. Oh, what a hit. Finish it off. Finish it. Well, I'm glad to know that the Royal Mega Spider is an animal of a kind nature. Bleeding out in three hours. Bleeding out in three hours. Oh, God. Oh, look. We can probably save both. We could probably save both. We'll tend to you. And then we'll go over here and we'll tend to you. And then we'll go back and tend Arcadius again. You can do it. You can do it. Um, five hours, seven hours. The chance of an infection here is massive. We do have Glitter Wall Medicine, but I'm not entirely sure we can use it, can we? Because it's, uh... I guess you're allowed to use any kind of medicine. I mean, medicine is medicine. Fancy bandages are still bandages, after all. That would be a little bit cruel if they limited you to only using doctor tending because you didn't have a drug slab, for example. Nice work, um... Nice work. Colony Savior right there. Almost forgot to patch home up there as well. God damn, that's a... That's a mean start. A conquest happened. So that's because of uh, dynamic diplomacy. Factions can go to war and take each other's settlements. The Howitzer Spacemen have lost Badger to Orion installation. <laughs> of course they have. Of course they have. Oh, another topic, of course, of uh, faction names... I've renamed our faction based on your suggestions from yesterday's episode. So the, the, the most voted one was 
Leave the name as City on the Meadow because it's an incredible blatant lie. And I kind of like that idea. Another person suggested Seed of Knowledge for the faction, which is a pretty good name, I think, for for a faction that's going to progress through the ages. But I think it also kind of works with the whole City on the Meadow complete lie. Oh, and before I forget, if you have research pal enabled with semi-random research, you don't get research notifications. I made a point yesterday of showing what we finished researching, but I thought I would prefer the notification, to be honest with you. Struppers is complaining about her outfit. Arcadius is getting us some more clay blocks. So the clay blocks have to have to dry before they are before they're usable. Oh, and on the subject of that, because we're in a desert, meats will also jerk. They'll dry out if left in the desert heat. So we don't have to worry about freezing any, assuming we ever get an animal to hunt. Because right now things are uh, a little bit devoid of anything, really. We could put your insects if insect meets jerk. Oh, there we are. Time to dry. Four hours. Fantastic. Now we can have a nice chunk of insect jerky. Arcadius, you know when I said haul those clay bricks to a stockpile and you've um dumped them right in the water? Uh, but this doesn't take clay blocks, by the way, unless clay blocks are corpses and I didn't realize. I get the feeling that's probably never going to dry. Dave's prisoners. Dave, who have you... Oh. Uh, oh. You're offering me two cosmic shotguns worth 60,000? That doesn't quite sound right, Dave. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Turns out you can't build on soft sand. A lot of this desert is, uh, is soft sand. Well, try again next time, I guess. Ah, uh, let's see. Do we want carvings, pottery, burial rites, or... Um, how can I say no to a face like that? I suppose we could build around the soft sand and use it as a stockpile instead. Put a wall around the entire thing here. That way we can still keep it fairly convenient and have a use for it. The ambush count. We're not on the best terms with the Empire right now, seeing as we took in a traitor. Romanos Air, a count of the Shatter Sovereignty is calling from you nearby. He's being followed by a man-hunting beaver. Sure. Sure. Why not? Oh, no. Run, air. Run. You really should take better care of your beaver. Run home. Run. Intercept. And pound the beaver. Excellent. A thoroughly pounded beaver. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll stop now. Oh, that's a good idea. We could just jerk the beaver. Oh, fuck. <laughs> just, just get out of here. Just get out. <laughs> Get out of my base and never come back. Freeholder title gained. Ohm. Good. Good. That's really helpful. I'll be honest, if I was given the choice, I would have almost certainly gone for the opinion with the Empire. Try and patch up things, seeing as we stole their neuroformers, but that's okay. Basic traps. That could be very good. Pitfall traps. Drop the enemies into a hole and then beat them while they're in the hole. Now, before we get too accustomed to jerking beavers and beating people off into holes. I want to go back out into the world map and take a look at some of these stashes before they disappear. So the 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 ancient Viking crypt we did lose. We made the choice between that and uh, Struppers, and I feel like we made the right choice, but we do have ancient runes and castle runes there. These can contain anything from cryptoslip caskets and arto, arto, artifact artifacts. Shit. These runes can contain anything from cryptoslip caskets and artifact... They have shit in them, okay? They've got stuff in, and I want it. So just to keep everybody on the same page, to keep a kind of head count for what's going on, Arcadius is 18 years of age and 29 days. Struppers, not that it really matters, because of course they live to 1,000, 169, nice, and 42 days. So what I did notice, actually, is in the bio, the chronological age and the biological age are now different. So normally, the biological age is, is always lower than the chronological age, right? And then if you have them in a crypto sleep casket for a very, very long time, the chronological age will be massively different to the biological, but always higher. In this, it's the reverse. Chronologically, they've only been alive for 17 days, two quadrants, four days, but they are aging a lot faster because of, you know, because of the whole thing that we've got going on here. Okay, um, what are we up against? Wow. A lot of sealed buildings, ancient dangers? Well, this one's got a door. Oh, God, this seems so dangerous. If there is anybody here with a gun, we could be in a little bit of trouble. Oh, a new area has been revealed. It contains ancient hostile mechanoids. Hello there. Okay, here's the plan. Go in, 
and then immediately get out. Let's fight them one at a time. The numbers will count for nothing. No, no, no. You have to, you have to hold the door open. Climb the door. Hold it open. Oh, you poor Scyther fool. Oh, look at this. This is the perfect situation for Ohm. Melee combat against people <laughs> without guns. It's, it's good if it wasn't a centipede in here. Now, here's the next problem. Inside these five crypto sleep caskets could be a very angry person. A very angry person with a shotgun. Uh, and that would be pretty much game ending. 31 energy cells. Uh, an ancient power source with near infinite energy. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's always handy, isn't it? We've got 31 of them. 31 times infinite is, um... It's quite a lot of power, actually. 17 Luciferum that I assume we can use because... Well, you don't really need technology to put things in your mouth. Oh, God. The psychic animal trainer, though, might... We can... Oh, because it's an activate. We don't have to manipulate it. We just point and shoot. Interesting. Obviously, uses a different system to weapons, gear, that type of thing. Right. Okay, then. Now, what is this building here? I'll crack it open, but I'm a little bit concerned it might just be another ancient danger. I think we got very lucky. Yeah. A scullywag. Two scullywags, in fact. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I love the fact that I was frantically pausing that, but Ohm moves so fast because of his Arco lens, it barely made any difference. <laughs> so in here, we have another 28 times infinite energy, psychic pacifier, psychic inspirator, and an Arcotec shield belt, which we can't use. But that would be so, so incredible. Tech prints for circadian influence, which I assume we can apply that. I mean, it's a bit pointless for the time being, but we can apply it more caskets. I mean, I'd love to take back a prisoner to help kickstart our definitely not breeding program. Conversely, I feel like this is also an incredible way to end a series. Okay, okay, okay. Fastest path out if things go right. Well, you open crypto sleep caskets at the bottom. You can move through pillars, but I don't think it's the most optimal way. I stand corrected. You, it absolutely is. Climb right over them. Here's the plan. We crack open these ones. If they're hostile, we double down. Immediately run south and open these ones. Worst case scenario, it's twice as many raiders, which is pretty terrible when I phrase it like that. Best case scenario, these guys hate the guys in the other crypto sleep caskets. Kill one another. We club the survivor and carry them home. Godspeed, little Godspeed. Godspeed. Oh no. That one was full of maggots. A medieval. Medieval. Okay, that's fine. Man at arms, you're medieval. You've got an incredible looking sword. What is that? Whoa. Mammy Forbes. Ignite. Neural heat dump. Melee of eight. What is that sword you're using? Raxalsum. Persona energy sword. What the hell? Uh, this is a hard fight for Ohm. Hyperweave cape. Bulletproof vest. I'll take skull cap. Um, noodle. What is noodle? An avian. And this one was full of mega scarabs. What the hell is going on in here? <laughs> ah, it's a party and Ohm's invited. Oh, God, please be careful. No, 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 no. This is, this is danger. This is danger. Club, you. Club, Mammy. Club, Mammy. Come on, finish the job. A stun. Good, good, good. Come on, knock him down, knock him down, knock him down. No, you, you're paying attention to the wrong one. Please fight the one I tell you to fight, Ohm. Your life depends on it. Good hits, good hits, good hits. There we go. We can't use that. We need persona bonding. But, sorry, I'm talking. But, uh, can you shut up? We could just take it back with us. Oh, it's got kill thirst as well. We could take it back with us and put it on a put it put it on display for a few hundred years. <laughs> Let's club Oscar. Goodbye, Oscar. Who else have we got here? I really would like to recruit one of these guys. If you could stop killing everyone, Ohm, we could put down a sleeping spot here, convert this into a prison, and just try to arrest Noodle. You're coming with me. The ancients are hostile. I feel like that ship has sailed. Maybe we'll be able to take Alex alive. We obviously can't arrest them anymore because they are fully hostile now. Uh, they're very close to the map edge. Club, 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 club. Come on. Send him. Don't kill. Just just go for the knees. What part of go for the knees do you not understand? Look, there's that debuff again. Death is leaving the stage long enough to change costume and come back as a new character. I don't understand. 
I wonder if that's a debuff unique to immortal characters. Them seeing death is upsetting. Not just observing corpse, but, but actually seeing them die. Oh, weird. Maybe maybe multiple deaths consecutively causes it. Weird. Oh, poor Ohm. Harmony with nature? Oh, I could be from that as well. We're going to go through this again. Oh, shit. Come on, then. Crack it open. Hello. What the hell are you? What are you wearing? Optimus Prime? OEC Hunter Helmet. Intelligence modules. There's none of that here. Alpha self-explode droid. Nope. We're out. Goodbye. What the hell is that? Cosmos Energy Sniper. Nope, we're out. Goodbye. Thank you. See you later. Please leave. That's, uh, that's their problem now. Should we take Noodle and um, maybe get out of here? What is going on? <laughs> this seems like an accident waiting to happen. Small and swift droid, but the single use pulse bomb. It will throw bombs after you get close to target and will explode in death. Wow, really makes you think. It did, it did explode in death. Shari, you again? I mean, we definitely don't want to fight Toby Andrews here with his cosmic sniper rifle, so um, keep a low profile. If he does round the... Oh no, is he coming after us? Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh no. He's gonna shoot Noodle. Okay, 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 club him. Club him. You might be able to take him alive. He switched to using a... Bottle of double age whiskey. <laughs> this is an incredibly advanced person. Adaptive eyes. Stormcaster. The ability to cast powerful storms among his enemies. He's got power armor. Ma marine armor by the looks of it. Cosmos energy weaponry. And he's decided he's going to kill Ohm with a bottle of whiskey. Unless Ohm kills him first, of course. Which, actually at the rate things are going, knocked his jaw clean off. My god, look at these arms. Cybernetic arms, 200% efficiency. Ohm. Ohm. You mad lad. Maybe Ohm's invincible. Quick, get him. Kill Rhubarb while he's vomiting. Yes. He was vomiting and you still missed. What is wrong with you? Finish the job. Hey, a survivor. Are you good to capture? He's got good melee. We do like melee here. Oh, he's also in harmony with nature. Well, I feel like this was a... Resounding success. Is there anyone else here that we'd like to like to capture? Whoa, my God. Baroness, though. Wait, of which? Of Ancients. Throne speech. Stun. Arctic pinhole. Word of, word of love. Berserk. Shari, what have you got? 13 social. Goo, what have you got? 12 medical. These people are so good. They're so incredible. Uh, let's go put that fire out and maybe we'll just capture everybody. Sod it. Are we allowed to take this many prisoners back with us? Oh my god, they're all bleeding out. They're all got infections. Well, this is going to be very difficult to manage this many people. Okay, okay, okay. Let's allow all. Let's take it all home. Very little of this is actually useful. The medicine is fine. The luciferium, we could eat. Replicated meat. Oh, I suppose we could drink double-aged whiskey. I don't see why that would be a technology limitation. Oh, you've bought tequila. Oh, brilliant. We can't even use the kite shield because it counts as smithing. Wow. Shame we can't use the sword either because that would be kind of incredible. Are we allowed to bring all these people back in a single caravan? I don't think I've ever been in this situation before. We can. Um. We want to have the food for it though. Let's take all of the food. 1.8 days. Shit. Well, let's hope they can start walking before long. I might send somebody to go and meet them halfway with a bunch of food. I feel like taking these infinite energy cells. I will admit, for, for infinite energy, $33 is uh, that's a that's a bargain. Take the tech print and keep it in a stockpile for the best part of 100 years? Sure. We'll take the energy cells too. They don't weigh very much. Send it. How long is it going to take to get back, did it say? Uh, 11.7 days. We will absolutely need to send Arcadius maybe back and forth repeatedly with food deliveries. Oh, there's an animal to kill. We could get some jerk meats. Oh, God, not another ostrich. Arcadius, you're a brave man. It's asleep. You can't really mess this up. Nice. Oh, Arcadius. Oh, he's getting annihilated. Okay, uh, we might need, might need some backup here. I've never seen such shit before in my life. You couldn't spear a sleeping ostrich. Oh, I have... Oh, God. Just, just, just die. 
it. <laughs> Just don't bother getting back up. Putting out in 23 hours. Okay, well, good luck. You're going to have to finish the job. And if Struperis goes down, let's hope the man in black that turns up can finish the job. Get, get your, get your, get your go, go, go. Get it, get it, get it, get it, please. Nice, good, good stab, good stab, good hit. Come on, give us another one. Yes, there we go. Okay, okay. You are now Dr. Struperis. Congrats. Unfortunately, that's horrible news for Arcadius because the Struperis is 0 0.23 medical. Holy shit, bleeding out in five hours. Come on. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Oh, Jesus. Six hours. Infection. Shari. Oh, that's in the caravan. That's okay. You're also bleeding. You're bleeding actually everywhere, but apparently you're in no immediate danger, so that's fine. Okay. Keep, keep tending. Three more. Well, overall, I feel that went horribly. Dare I ask, how's the caravan doing? Ohm is fine. Yeah, absolutely fine. Noodle is okay. Infection in the torso. 55% infection, 89% immunity. Wow. We did take the World Medicine with us, and we found medicine while we were there, so... They actually might be okay. Uh, you're fine as well. Shari. Right hand infection major. 44% spread. 40% immunity. So you're potentially okay as well. Goo. 41% infection. But 48% immunity. We might genuinely be getting five prisoners out of this. We will have to deliver them food. There's 1.3 days worth of food. And they've got another 2.4 days to go. Why well, specific can walk now? They could survive it, but I'm going to send one of these people, I guess, troopers now, halfway to go and deliver whatever food we've got. Oh. Oh, prisoners need feeding, don't they? Oh, home is fully healed. Of course, as they heal more and more, they're going to move faster anyway, so... Oh, now Shari's back down. And Goo? What the hell happened? Did the infection get that bad again? No, they're just being... They're just being morons. Unfortunately for Shari... The infection was just too much. Goo is fine. Immunity developed. I'm sending Struppers along right now with a with a food delivery. 16 meals, 100 rice. They sent us a backup as well if they are on the verge of starving to death. I figured that's probably better than nothing. That's not bad timing, assuming they can get back today. Days of food. We are just about to rot. But, come on. You can make it. There we go. Look at that. And look at our prisoners. Oh, this is incredible. This is a great day for the colony, assuming we can keep them all fed and hopefully they don't riot because honestly, they probably kick our ass at this point. I'm probably going to take their clothes away from them. I feel like at this stage, having prisoners with flak shirts and plate armor, probably fairly ill-advised. Basic traps. There we go. I think the first place I'm going to put those are right outside the prison door. <laughs> Animal trap. Cavalry spikes. Okay. Pitfall trap. Uh, very nice. I like that. I don't really want to impale my prisoners, but earthen mounds? Oh, just just a, just a mound of dirt as cover. Okay, fair enough. I think for the time being, we probably don't want to take on any research. Maybe not until we've dealt with the overflowing prison. There you go. That's better already. We do have the resources to build simple beds, and to be honest, that genuinely would be quite an improvement. That would definitely put them in a much better mood. Um. Fucking what? No. A mysterious conversion chamber has crashed nearby. A toxic fume killing all plant life seems to emanate from within. Unsettling echoes of weeping and howling is audible from the chamber. Destroy it as soon as possible. Yeah, I'm, um... Really not a fan of that. Actually. Oh, it's because our colony wealth is so bloody high. 81,000. I still don't think 81,000 justifies sending this, but for those of you unfamiliar with the Void mod, oh, I guess you're about to be. Let's get rid of some wealth. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get Ohm to kick the hell out of all of this apparel. Anything we can't use gets kicked. You can go. You can go. Right, hopefully that should solve a little bit of our colony wealth problem. Hmm. Psychic animal trainee, you say. Hmm. <laughs> if this works. Oh, if this works. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Do we just kick it? I really don't remember. Kick. Yep, there it is. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Arcadius. Activate. Please work. They've decided to do what they can and leave. 
Have they? Have they, though? Ron. Ron? He's still in the Arco Fragment. Well, that's good. It means we don't have to fist fight that bloody thing. Uh, the Psychic Lance, unsurprisingly, did not work. It does count as a unit of Void and not an animal. Which is a little frustrating because I would have loved to have loved to have tamed one of those. Yeah, you can go. Oh, no. He's stealing my Arco Fragment. How terrible. Now I'm not going to be on the receiving end of his 54 DPS. <laughs> Thank you for visiting. Goodbye. Sometimes you have to show a little bit of bravery in the face of danger. Ah, speaking of danger, is that another ancient danger? Yep. Yeah, I think that seems uh, that seems about right. <laughs> oh. Oh, these two are becoming the best of friends. Hopefully not too good a friend, because I don't know if humans and Forsakens, uh, you know... Gotta replace colonists and all that. Hey, Arcadius. How are you getting along? I'm doing fine, thanks. What about you? I feel terrible. This is this is a lot. This is this bloody void storyteller. Wild Hive. It's a single megapede. Wow. Okay. Um, you've got this. Strange visions. Because you're badly oh, what is it? what are you talking about? Oh, we're out of food because Struppers is spending all day. Juggling prisoners. So I'm going to bring Ohm back on as a cook. That's assuming Ohm survives. Well, this. 3.9 melee DPS. Yeah, that's a bit more our speed. Good luck, Ohm. Oh, God. Please, Ohm. Oh, this is not looking good. Uh, Get in here. Help us out. I know you're dealing with prisoners. Uh, You don't have a weapon. Sure, we've got something. Yeah, grab that. 54%. Putting out six hours, 61%. Ohm is doing better than the Megapede right now. Don't worry, Ohm. Help is on its way. Come on, Struppers. Between the two of you, you've got this. Oh! Ohm doesn't need your help. Get out of here. How dare you? Wait. Oh, shit. They're preparing for a while. Then they'll attack. Okay, okay, okay. Arcadius, uh, let's get you down here. I think we need to get both of them prepared to... Poopies Vagabonds. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. Thank you for that. Roll credits. Thank you. Join us again tomorrow for the adventures of Ohm and his poopy vagabonds. We'll see if our aging system works as I intended, as I think it might be the coolest thing we've ever done in Rimod. Arcadius is aged 20 and 6 days. So aging up pretty, pretty fast, but... We've also achieved a pretty hefty amount in terms of actual research and self-research breakthroughs. We're getting a pretty good far way through the through the primitive age. Let's see tomorrow if we can survive these insects. Seeing as one almost single-handedly killed home, I don't have a huge amount of confidence. Thank you in the meantime to our executive producer patrons for allowing the series to exist in the first place. Thank you to Dante Mordecane, Kyle, Mello, Elvin Flang, KQ the Magic Flying Velociraptor, Altsari, MTB, Cuddles, Drunken Funkin, Tinseled Cloth, Hoopy, Krusty Rhino, Bungo, Gogolus, and Nightwitch for their support. The executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Big thank you to you guys for making the channel possible in the first place. And a thank you continues to go to a good chunk of Balsa, Mystic370, Betamus Max, Erotha, Edgemere, Monk, Bordoon, Mad Bowler Hat, Kickstar, Icy the Great, Rommel DK, Lucius Martius, Dodger, and Bilbo Fraggins as well. See you guys all tomorrow for... I'm not really sure I know what's going on, actually.